Hey, welcome back. This video is a quick demonstration on how to do simple random sampling for research using our trusty coin population. Simple random sampling, or SRS, is the simplest but arguably most important sampling method where you assign each unit in the sampling frame known and equal chances to get selected as a sample. Historically, random number generation is done through lottery or the fishbowl method or using random number tables, but there are legit online random number generators out there that are good enough for most studies. SRS belongs to the group of sampling methods known as probability sampling methods. Let's say our study objective is to determine whether our coin population likes bananas or pajamas. Most likely, we need to conduct a survey to ask them about their preference. Let's meet our coin population. Our coin population consists of 4 huge bronze, 24 big dots, 24 small silvers, and 8 tiny golds. They are well distributed and mingle with each other all over our study area. However, we can only get a list of the big dots and small silvers because the tiny golds are too young to participate in any study, while the huge bronze are not part of the official coin database yet. Also, for the purposes of this demo, let's say the calculated sample size for our study is 10 samples. We start simple random sampling by obtaining our sampling frame. Since we don't have access to the tiny golds and huge bronze, our sampling frame will only consist of the 24 big dots and the 24 small silvers. Each of these big dots and small silvers will be our sampling unit. I made another video discussing the definitions of study population, sampling frame, sampling units, and samples. Go watch it if you haven't done so already. And also like and subscribe for more research content. After obtaining our sampling frame, we then assign each sampling unit sequential numbers from 1 all the way to n, where n is equal to the size of our sampling frame. In this case, 24 big dots plus 24 small silvers equals 48. So we assign this as coin number 1, then this one as 2, then this one as 3, then 4, and 5, and so on and so forth. Assignment of the order within the sampling frame can be arbitrary, but most studies use official lists from available sources, and in most cases, it shouldn't matter. After we have assigned each sampling unit with a number, we get our random number generator and request for 10 random numbers between 1 and n, or between 1 and 48. For this example, I'm using the services of random.org. Let's say we got the random numbers 10, 6, 23, 32, 13, 2, 48, 42, 21, and 3. We now then pick the sampling units assigned to these random numbers. And these 10 randomly selected sampling units will be our samples for our study. And these will be the one who will get our survey questionnaire. And that is how simple, simple random sampling is done. <laughs>